Hello viewers, once again welcome to Erimu TV, the station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor Mr. Mwangi and I will be taking you through chemistry form 1. Basically, today's lesson objective is as follows. So, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to uh, show how purity of a substance can be determined. Therefore, we are looking at criteria of purity. It is important for us to determine when substances are pure and not pure. So methods of determining the uh, purity of a substances include one, melting point, the point at which it changes its state from solid uh, to liquid, and boiling point, uh, the point where the state, uh, the, the point where it changes its state from uh, liquid to gas. So those two points are the ones which we are going to basically look at but we also have density of a substance. The density of a substance can be used to determine whether that substance is pure or impure. For instance, the density of water is one gram per centimeter cube. That is a constant. Therefore, if the density of this water is determined and it is not one gram per centimeter cube, basically that means that this substance or this water is not pure. So in this lesson, we are going to majorly look at the boiling point and melting point to determine the purity of a substance. So how do we determine the melting point? For instance, let's consider ice or water. Using the setup as illustrated, uh, ice cubes placed in a beaker on which we have dipped the thermometer, and then we heat using uh, that the banner which is as, uh, given as shown in the diagram you will see that uh, uh, the substance whose melting point is to be measured is uh, given uh, or it's put or it's pressed using the same setup that we have here so the temperature of the solid increases until it remains constant during uh, melting remember it is in solid state so the point at which it remains constant, that means there is no increase in temperature, but there is heat energy which is being supplied. So it is very important for you to look at the point where it remains constant because that means that is the boiling point of that substance. How else if we want to determine the boiling point? So the boiling point, we can use the setup as illustrated here. So the substance whose boiling point is to be, uh, to be measured is heated as illustrated here. In this case, we have a boiling tube which contains a liquid, for instance, water. And then we have, uh, uh, we have uh, some proserine pieces or stones. Uh, this is basically to absorb some of the heat and prevent the boiling tube from uh, breaking due to heat. Then we have, once the liquid is heated, it, it changes its state to gas. So in this case, we have water vapor whose temperature is determined using the thermometer up there. And we have a delivery tube basically to uh, derive the vapor of the, 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 the steam into a different area and therefore ensuring that pressure has been kept constant. So the temperature increases until it remains constant. So when it remains constant, that means uh, there is a change of state from liquid to gas at boiling point. Only at boiling point, uh, when the all, all, all the liquid changes its state to gas. So uh, when this is done, we obtain what we refer to as a heating curve, as illustrated in the diagram there. This curve can be used to determine whether a substance is pure or not pure. So for instance, we have ice which exists at a temperature below zero degrees Celsius. And on heating, the temperature increases as time goes. And therefore, we have a, a constant temperature here uh, at region BC during melting. And once we heat the liquid, the state increases. Uh, the temperature increases until it reaches point DE, which is the melting, which is the boiling point of pure water, and the state changes to steam. So the process there is evaporation. Remember, on cooling, we obtain the same same uh, 
kind of curve of which we refer now to as a cooling curve as a cooling curve so in in case we hit any other substance other than water the temperature will increase and we obtain two constant points the melting point and the boiling point and uh, for you now to know which substance is pure or not pure using the heating curve an impure substance don't have a constant melting or boiling point they melt and boil over a range of temperatures therefore that can be used to determine whether that substance is pure or not pure so a pure substance have a sharp or a constant melting and boiling point so where is this a pride one in temperate regions where we have ice falling on loads remember mechanical uh, way of removing these ice may be very uh, uh, expensive and an and economical and therefore we apply for instance uh, calcium chloride as an impurity and it erodes the melting point of ice and this help in cleaning of ice from road in temperate regions therefore water will melt at a temperature below zero degrees celsius clearing the path test now let's check whether we have understood uh, some of the concepts of this lesson describe how the purity of naphthalene can be determined if you are provided with naphthalene how can you determine it uh, whether it is pure or not pure identify with the reason the heating curve that represents a pure substance in the uh, in the curve that we have here then as you can see we have two curves we have curve number one and curve number two so which of these two represents uh, a pure substance then you should give a reason for that and for more information you can uh, refer to the book uh, book one uh, secondary chemistry students book one or you can please give us a text or visit our facebook and uh, youtube at erimu tv or give us a tweet at erimu tv underscore ke so once again your tutor mr mongi francis stay tuned to more lessons to come